Ukraine's newest target is something they've long cherished themselves. Small, white, rectangular satellite internet terminals from Elon Musk's Starlink, apparently in Russian hands, and hit by Ukrainian drones. They're not supposed to be there at all, according to Musk and US sanctions. Here, a Russian soldier explains frontline damage to one of their Starlink units connecting attack drones and command centers. While Russia has officially denied their use, their army of crowdfunders openly flaunt Starlink purchases in third countries. Here is one key supplier showing off store-bought drones and five Starlinks too. The look on their faces does not suggest they're too confident in coming home. She has posted other images of Starlinks and drones bought. Ukrainian troops we met across the east and south of the front line, said Russia, has near copied their system of attack drones, using Starlink's internet signal to control dozens of single-use first-person view devices to swarm Ukrainian positions. Here is even an intercepted signal one unit told us they had hacked from a Russian drone. You can see it manoeuvring into a Ukrainian target. Near the heavily contested village of Robotina, down in the bunkers where the drone wars are fought, this change is huge and has come with an apparent complication for the Ukrainians too. Their Starlink speeds have been getting slower, said this commander. Another operator in the same area reported problems in the last month. A lot rests on Musk. While Ukrainian officials went public with their concerns six weeks ago, they've since gone silent. They're perhaps quietly pressuring Musk, who experts think can vet who uses terminals even if that's trickier in contested areas. It's possible SpaceX uh, can pinpoint each terminal and they know who is who, but the problem is to identify actual owner of the account. Musk is a big child, so it's, uh, it's important to talk to him and don't offend him here because he might do some uh, quick decisions that might be not very good for, for everyone. Musk, SpaceX and Starlink did not respond to requests for comment. They said previously they do no business with the Russian state or military. And if a sanctioned party uses Starlink, we investigate the claim and take action to deactivate the terminal if confirmed. But as Ukraine's other lifelines wobble or dry up, space-based internet is one they cannot afford to see slow, lose to the Russians or lose at all. Nick Payton-Walsh, CNN, London.